Let's meet the fighters at the age of 19, weighing 63 kilograms, height 1 meter 75. No records, no wins, no draws, no losses. Representing Burkett Fight Club team, coming from Moldova in the blue corner, Igor Zadorozhnya. <laughs> At the age of 18, weighing 63 kilograms, height 1 meter 83, two records, one win and one loss. Representing Basarabia club team, coming from Moldova in the red corner, Sviatoslav Vieiro. This is a featherweight bout under 63 kilograms, three rounds of three minutes, extra one round K1 rules. Referee Vladimir Tepordei. You are fighting fair rules. Obey my commands at all time and protect yourself for all time. Touch gloves if you want to do so. Your corners. Judge. 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 Time. First round. Fight. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, underway officially here at FIA Championship loading. Kickboxing rules for our first matchup, however. We will be going back and forth throughout the evening between MMA and K1 rules. A lot of quick action inside the ring here. It's what to be expected. The opening fight, ooh, that one may have landed a little bit low. Hello! Whoa! Huh? Head kick went in, well, as did a beautiful up uppercut there from Igor Fight. Zadorozhniak. And here he comes on the attack Stop. once again and hits the canvas very, Fight. very hard that time. That's not gonna slow him down. That head kick might slow him down though. Holy cow. Do not blink, ladies and gentlemen. Boy, these guys are pulling out all the stops here early in round number one, spinning back fist there. Good low kick goes in. There's a knee. Boy, these two are all over each other right from the opening bell. Boy, I like the tenacity of Zador Zhenyak. This kid really is putting everything he's got into these shots that he's throwing here. And he's trying to put on a show as well. More combination blows from the youngster. Whoa, right hand now. Takes a big deep breath now as he stalks his opponent. Over to the far side of the cage, Vieru. Gives him a little something here, looking for that back fist again. Whoa, clubbing shot with the right hand. Oh, God, a big right hand just crossed his jaw that time. Up against the cage, he's got to move now. He has got to move. It's a hard low kick. Vieru. He's got some good moves himself, but he can't afford to put himself back against the cage like that. Zadorozniak is all over. He took his eyes off his opponent that time. I think Vieru is hurt here. He's not responding. He has got to fire back or else he's going to get eaten alive. Oh, and another shot on the jaw. Big right hand goes in. He may not make it to the bell. Kicks him hard against the cage, and there's the horn after a very, very turbulent round number one. It's 
go back and take another look, ladies and gentlemen, at highlights from round number one. If you're just joining us, boy, did you miss a heck of a round. You should have been here immediately at <laughs> the start of the show because it started off fast and as cliche as it sounds, furious. Well, they're calling this event via championships loading. I, I have a feeling we're done loading and we are getting right into the action. Round two coming up. Now the Fia girls looking lovely as always. I got a feeling they practiced those moves a few times before the event. They seem to have that down pretty good. I'm just looking over next to me at my Romanian commentary colleagues. I know we got uh, Valentin Halachenko as always. He's being joined by Stanislav Rinita in the Romanian commentary position. And these two going right back at it, tooth and nail here. Round number two underway. Looked for a, a little bit of an interesting angle there on that shot, but he almost threw himself on the ground. Very slow attempt at a, tur <laughs> at a turning back kick that time. Big swing and a miss. Body kick gets caught and you can't do that under these rules. It looks like there's a cut maybe or a little something under the right eye of Sviatoslav Vieru. Uh, no Nice right hand in return that time from Vieru. Whoa, these two trading some heavy shots here. Good Lord. We well, can certainly feel that things have slowed down just a bit here in round number two. That was a clubbing overhand right though. I think these guys went for the kill in round number one. And when they didn't get it, they're now having to deal with the fact that they could be running a little bit low on gas here. Still hard though, still fighting hard, still big shots, but there's a slightly lower pace here and a slightly more methodical pace between these two. I think they're being a little bit more thoughtful here rather than just throwing caution to the wind. As I mentioned, both guys just very young in there, inexperienced, but man, are they hungry, and that's what I love to see. Sometimes what you lack in experience, you make up for with power and speed and intestinal fortitude, things of that nature. Whoa! Vieru has a lot of good intentions with his shots, just like with that one, but he's not setting it up properly. He was able to find the target that time. But that was only maybe the first time in this fight with those spinning te techniques there. Whoa, nice combination there, found the way through. Head kick right upside the head that time. Zadorozniak, well, takes the canvas that time, having to pull himself up here. End of round two here, so I, I didn't think that we would see a round number three between these two gentlemen, but here we are. I think that they came out guns a-blazing in round number one, ready to throw caution to the wind and just let the chips fall where they may. As many cliches as you can think of, they, they used all of them <laughs> in round number one. Round number two, though, a bit more thoughtful and a bit more cautious than we saw in round number one. Still a hard-hitting round, though. Still, still a very hard-hitting round. But the pace definitely a lot slower. And now we're really going to find out what these two fighters are made of as we head into the third and final round in our opening contest here 
at FIA Championship loading. Still have four more preliminary bouts on the way after this one before we kick off the main card at 8 o'clock p.m. scheduled time here in Kishino. Can still see that right eye. There is a wound under the right eye. I don't know if I want to call it a cut or not because it's not open, it's not bleeding. Nice combination there that time by Vieru. There we go, he's got to move out to his right, circling out to his right now. And that's going to be a lot more effective than just standing there with his back against the cage. Whoa! Spinning around like a whirlwind that time. Neither gentleman really able to land flush, but they're trying to pull out all the stops here. They're trying to gain the attention of the matchmakers, of the promoters. We know that Doran Damier, the president of FIA, is in, the, in attendance here tonight. I'm sure he's watching closely. Never hurts to impress that guy. The time expired here in round number three. Boy, you, you could tell he really wanted to pull the trigger on that spinning back fist, but he had telegraphed it a little bit too much. And Zadorozniak, boy, does he have a difficult name for me to pronounce. My American tongue just cannot spit his name out. The fighter in the red trunks, let's call him. Zadorozniak. Try saying that three times fast. Well, I'll tell you what, he is fast, though. He is lightning quick. And you can tell these two really gassing here, especially Vieru. He is very slow to get back into his stance after he throws, uh, especially one of those spinning techniques. He's looking for another one right there, but just doesn't have the energy. Whoa, he let it go that time. He really let it rip, but there was nobody home. Ooh, he felt that one. He very visibly felt that shot. Well, like I said, two young and inexperienced fighters here. And uh, I, I think that the lesson that they're going to learn from this contest is that it's a three-round fight. And you've got to be prepared for that. I know when your opponent comes after you really hard in the first round, you feel like you've got to keep pace with him or else somehow he's won. But that's not always the case. Sometimes it's a... It's like the tortoise and the hare, and whoever can hang in there the longest wins. And that is the end of the contest. We will go to the judges' scorecards. See, former KOK world champion Stanislav Ronita and former FIA featherweight champion as well. Man, I'll tell you what, great fighter. And I was wondering when we're actually going to see him inside the FIA championship cage. That'd be something new even for a veteran like Ronita. All right, let's send it up to the cage and get All the official right. words. Now, with the unanimous decision of the judges, the winner is Blue Corner, Igor Zan!